guys are playing again right now. Oh, that's right. I know. That's so right. Let's see if there's more mm -hmm. of this. Any rain in the way, or are they good to go? You know, it looks like so far they're good to go. Most of the showers have stayed to the south of us in Philadelphia, and it looks like that's going to continue tonight. We do have an area to watch. There's an area of disturbed weather off the coast of the Carolinas. It's well out to sea, but you can see this see this big white circular area of clouds that's kind of blowing up right now. That that denotes some intensification. I wouldn't be surprised if we get Odette later on tonight. This could be Tropical Storm Odette. The impacts, though, would be the same. This is going to stay well out to sea. It is really pumping in that east wind off the ocean, but you can see most of the shower and storm activity today has stayed focused to the south, and there's not much more coming into the west. Now, we may have to watch a couple of these sprinkles here over central New Jersey drift toward the city tonight, but once the sun goes down and we lose the heating of the day, these are going to die down pretty quickly as well. So, right now, just a couple of scattered showers here over Kent County, right around Dover and toward Marydale. And as we head back toward the shore points, there are a couple of sprinkles here and there, but nothing major. So here's that area of disturbed weather right now, about a 70% chance of this becoming Odette. And you can see how it's starting to just, just blow up a little bit just in the past few satellite frames there. Back to the east, we've got this next wave. This could be Peter. It was unclear if which one would be Odette, which one would be Peter. High probability of both. But regardless if this gets named or not, it's going to lurk offshore throughout tomorrow and into Saturday. So you can see that east wind coming in around the northern flank of this, bringing a lot of clouds and scattered showers throughout the day tomorrow. It's not a total washout, but there could be a couple of heavier showers that roll through here and there. Then on Saturday, here comes a surface cold front. You see this line of showers here. That'll come through in the afternoon, and that will help to steer this system even further off the coast. And behind this cold front, there's not more than a couple of spotty showers with it. That will bring in a nice reduction in the humidity, especially for Sunday and Monday. So tonight, 70 degrees. Those spotty storms mainly to the south early. They will die out very quickly. Tomorrow's kind of a cloudy, cool day. It's still not crisp. It's still kind of humid, but a few spotty showers possible at any time. Dew points then drop, though. Tomorrow's still in the steamy range, but by Sunday, perfect dew points in the low 50s. Great news for the Eagles. It'll be perfect weather for tailgating. 78 and sunny with low humidity at kickoff. Are you kidding me? That is perfection. Halftime 81 and then back to the 70s by the fourth quarter. Full day of sunshine. Stays nice early next week. High pressure's in control through Wednesday, but then fall begins right on schedule. 3.20 p.m. Wednesday and just like that, here comes this blast of cool air from Canada. Gets here Thursday into Friday and it looks like a very nice seasonable September weekend next weekend. So your eyewitness weather seven day forecast. Few showers tomorrow. Stray shower with that front Saturday. Sunday and Monday are beautiful. Lots of sun at least to start Tuesday. Then a few more clouds as that front approaches. Thursday starts with a morning shower, then turning cooler, and that nice cool air will last into Friday and Saturday as well. Yuki, back over to you.